Well, let's face it, mosquitoes, ticks, no fun. DEET is the most common insect repellent, but how does it work and is it safe? How long does it last? Well, Dr. Bob is here with all the answers to this. Good to see you, Doc. Happy summer to you. Hey, thank you very much, Russell. And it really is important that people understand the importance of DEET and what it does. Many people think it's a bug killer. They think that it kills mosquitoes, but it really doesn't. So DEET is a chemical, and listen to this. It's N, N dash diethyl metatoluamide. <laughs> so it's got a big, long chemical name. <laughs> And that's really, really important because what it does, it interferes with the smell and the nose of mosquitoes. Now, mosquitoes, they know that we put out carbon dioxide when we breathe and they see our colors. Well, the DEET interferes with their ability to smell and come around. And so we feel like that's why it's a good insect repellent not insecticide. It does the same thing for ticks, it does the same thing for chiggers and other bugs. Mm. So it's a good thing to use. Is it safe? You know, and a lot of people worry about DEET being safe. Well, yes, DEET is safe. And let's talk about the percentages because when we look at the drugstore, we find DEET or OFF or some of those are all good. Uh, they've all got the same chemical basically in there. There are some others that are holistic uh, that don't have the chemical. However, if it's a 5%, then that will last about 90 minutes. If it's 25% DEET, then it's going to last a good three to five hours. So the concentration just tells us how long the DEET is going to last. It doesn't mean it's stronger or better or it's a better repellent. It's just going to stay there a little bit longer. So most of the DEET preparations we get are 25% or 30% last five hours. When you think about when you're going outside where there's going to be mosquitoes, uh, or if you're walking in the woods where there's going to be ticks, and we can talk about both of those, then DEET is good. Now, there are some clothes. If you remember, there was a craze for a while that clothes came out had bug off. Right, right. And the bug off is really permethrin, which is a substance that you can put in clothes that will be a repellent. Again, doesn't kill them. It just is a repellent. So let's look at mosquitoes. What can we do about mosquitoes? Well, to prevent them from growing, you look at any stagnant water. And so that's on tires, that's in the tile on your porch where, you know, there's a little puddle that's there, it's on the side of the house, it's anywhere where there's dampness that you can have. There you can better bet you that mosquitoes are going to grow, and they grow very, very fastly. And when they come out, they use first thing in the morning or late in the evening. And so when you go out and walk for those times, when you just breathe naturally, well, they're attracted to that carbon dioxide and also the motion that you have. So they're like dive bombers, mosquitoes are. They can come at you. So know that DEET will repel them. Ticks, you know, walk in the wood, the ticks, they like to jump on your ankles and crawl up your legs. So you want to be sure that you tuck in your pants, you put the socks over those, and you can put the DEET on the lower part of your legs. So be careful, respect them. You don't have to fear uh, ticks and mosquitoes, but you need to respect them and do what's best for you. They do transmit different illnesses, so we have to be prepared for that. All right. Great seeing you, Doc, as always. Uh, and uh, Dr. Bob's show is on Tuesdays, 9 p.m., Sundays at 2.30 p.m. on 10 News 2.